Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and another wellness video. Today I'm going to show you how I put together a little nook where I can kind of retreat to and read a book or do some meditation. It's just kind of like a little quiet space that I created for myself. So I wanted to show you guys how I put this together because you don't need much room at all uh, to create a little sacred space that you can escape to. So this is actually a corner of my bedroom that I wasn't doing anything with. And you'll see here in a minute, this uh, rug that I have here measures about four feet wide by five feet long. So it's not a big space at all, but I was really able to do a lot with this to make it nice and cozy and functional. And I just thought that having something on the floor was, was really cozy. So I made it into like a floor reading nook. I wanted to bring in colors and elements and things that really made me feel at ease and, you know, relaxed. And also things that reminded me of places that I really love being. So I found these really cool floor pillows at a place called Society6 and I'll link their site for you down below. But this one here is, I got it in a square shape and it's kind of like a sand color, watercolor pattern. And then I got this really cool round one just to have some, you know, different shapes. Uh, but it's got a desert scene on it, and I just thought the colors were stunning. This is a handmade rug that I got on Etsy, so I'll put a link in the description box down below. But this is made out of pieces of fabric that are handwoven together in a rag rug design, and I just really loved the colors in this, and it's also very soft. This is a meditation pillow set that I got on Amazon from a company called Florenzi, and I think they're located in Texas, but I'll leak the, uh, the Amazon link for you down below. But it comes as a set, so there's this round uh, cushion to sit on, and I just thought the pattern was really beautiful. And then it has this mat um, that almost takes up the whole space here, but it has a really soft and silky cover, and it's just really like cozy to sit on. And I also picked up this blanket in this pattern off of Society6, and I thought the colors were just so peaceful and relaxing, so now I can snuggle up when I read a book. And speaking of books, I have a little bookshelf here. This is a, like a three-tiered cart I got from TJ Maxx, and it wasn't very expensive, but I thought it would make a really interesting nightstand. Um, so that's what I've always used it for, and it turned out to be perfect for like a little bookshelf on the bottom here. And then on the middle shelf, I have uh, my journal and then some essential oils. And I just have a really inexpensive diffuser that I can either plug in there or it runs on batteries and I can just put it on my little meditation altar. And speaking of the meditation altar, I got this on Etsy. So this is a handmade piece and it's actually two pieces. So you can move this little shelf around on top and there's a number of different stains you can pick, but I thought like the gray blue would look really nice. And it's a perfect little spot to put like my, my plants and my Himalayan salt lamp. And I can always put my little diffuser there if I wanna do some aromatherapy, but it only sits a few inches off the ground, which is perfect. And it kind of ties the space together and, and gives the space kind of like a stopping point. And then I just felt like the space needed something else to make it feel complete. So I made one of these dip dye wall hangings and they're really simple to make. I made it in under a day. Um, and all I did was get a dowel from the craft store. I painted it a couple of different colors and then sanded it down to give it an aged look. And then I got cotton cording and cut it to the size that I wanted. I attached it with a really simple knot at the top here. And then I picked out some colors in the writ dye. Uh, and I just started doing the dip dye effect with that, and it was supposed to be a mountain range, but I think it turned out pretty good for my first try. So you can kind of see like it's darker down here, and then it gets a little bit lighter as it goes to the top, but I thought the, the colors were just really pretty. They're really soothing to me, and uh, when I hung it up, it really, it really made the space feel complete. So as you can see, you can take a really small space in your house and turn it into a little nook or retreat for yourself so that while he's down there playing video games, I can be up here reading a book or listening to some music or doing a little bit of meditation and taking a few minutes for a time out, if you will. And I think that's really important. We all kind of need a space that we can escape to to do something that we enjoy. His thing is video games. He loves doing that. Me, I'm more into a little bit of quiet time. So this little space gives me the opportunity to do that. 
I didn't really have a solid plan on what I wanted to do here. I just knew that I wanted it to function for a space for reading and maybe doing a little bit of meditation or listening to some music or doing some aromatherapy, something along those lines. And initially I was really just gonna get a chair and a blanket for the corner. And then I thought about it and said, geez, you know, maybe sitting on the floor would be kind of cozy. So I started to look online for ideas on, you know, like reading nooks that were on the floor. Then I was led to the floor pillows. Then I was led to the cozy blanket and the meditation set and everything just kind of snowballed from there. So hopefully this gave you guys some ideas on taking a small space in your own house and turning it into your Zen Den or a reading nook or, or whatever you wanna use it for and have a little place to escape to. So let your creativity fly with this and you know have fun with creating a little space for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below and uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.